All right, the DNA community, are you ready for this? No, but I'm going to do this video anyway. Haplogroup E-M2, and it's U175 mutation that's found in haplogroup E-M2. Watch this. This U175 mutation, I found that mutation in haplogroup R. That's right. The number one haplogroup for male European men. There's the kid number. Let's go to Family Tree DNA's uh, link right there. And you, and you see the kid number matches up. And uh, this man is U175 positive. The DNA community cannot explain how the mutation went from haplogroup E-M2, as I just showed you, to haplogroup R. The DNA community cannot explain how this U175 mutation went to haplogroup Q. There's a kid number. Just go to this link to Family Tree DNA's database, and you'll see right there. This man is also U175 positive. Unbelievable. The Starlight Network. All right. Finally, I want to talk about haplogroup J. J right here. You see the, the kid number right there? Let's go right here to that link with the Family Tree DNA's database. This man is also U175 positive. Three different haplogroups, and that particular mutation has passed on to all of them. You see right there, haplogroup J. The world has been led to believe that haplogroup J is the number one haplogroup for Jews. You see it's concentrated on an Arabian plate, especially the southern part near Yemen. That's interesting because you guys know that's been following me that my male DNA Definitely originated from the Arabian plate. You see my name and kid number right there. And you see how my matches dominate on Arabian. You see right there. I have the white DNA uh, matches to show that. On my paternal side, you see I have one from Bahrain, one from Kuwait, six from Saudi Arabia, three from Yemen. The other two exact matches come from South America. And below are my distant matches, okay? Watch this. That explains... When I got my white uh, chromosome tested in 2012 through Family Tree DNA, that I, I didn't know this at the time, but I have I have the E3A haplotype itself. I have all of those mutations perfectly, an exact match. I have the haplogroup itself that they all just sent from. Okay? That explains why when you look at, at a tree, at this uh, E3A haplotype right here, let's go right here to I. SOGG 2006 YDNA uh, tree type on haplogroup E. You see me right there, E3A, also known as uh, M2. Uh, I'm at the top right there by myself, and those are the descendants of the Israelites below. And U175, where is it at? It's right there in red near the bottom. It's in red because it wasn't on a 2005 tree, YDNA tree for males. So I could not, I cannot be U175 positive, okay? It came from my descendants, okay? I'm a Hebrew. Thank you for watching this video, and all praises to the Most High God.